Towns are our infrastructure. They support us literally in everything that it is we do. And if they don't have their health, we don't have ours. My doctors always were concerned about bone health in my specific situation because I had um, osteopenia and osteoporosis even before my breast cancer diagnosis. There were so many different factors that I had to consider after being diagnosed with breast cancer. One of them was my bone health. Um, now when I go and see my oncologist, that's a part of our conversations. For young women who don't have breast cancer, I think the bones are taken for granted. But once a woman enters the realm of breast cancer, she has to think about her bones because a lot, almost all, of the therapies that we tend to recommend for the treatment of breast cancer can have negative impact on her bone density. Early loss of estrogen is a risk factor. A family history of what we call um, fragility fractures. Women who don't get adequate amounts of calcium and vitamin D, um, you know, that would be a risk factor if you don't get enough in your diet and you don't supplement. Chemotherapy can put a woman into early menopause. The loss of estrogen removes what is the fundamental supporting hormone to our bones. I am also BRCA positive, so I also had to have my ovaries removed. And lack of estrogen affects your bone health. We didn't want me being a crippled old woman at the age of 40, you know? So we, we had to start addressing that immediately. Typical test that we would use is a test of bone density called a DEXA scan. It's a pretty simple test to do. We do uh, what we call a plain film, a simple um, x-ray without a lot of radiation exposure of the spine, the lumbar spine, the lower spine, and then usually we do both hips. When I had the bone density test, I was very nervous going into it but it is probably the easiest scan you could ever get. Take a couple of pictures of my insides and I'm good to go. We get a score out of it. We get a Z score, um, which compares you to other women your age, and a T score, which compares you to a 25-year-old who has you know, the strongest bones in her life. A uh, T score in the normal range tells us that she's got good bone density. And if it's below a certain level, she is beginning to develop the risk of loss of bone density. And if it's really low, then we actually give her a diagnosis of osteoporosis. When I had the scans done, the bone density scans done, um, I, it alerted me that I needed to definitely change my lifestyle. I started uh, consuming more natural foods that, con that contain calcium, not just taking calcium pills. Um, broccoli is like the superfood, and calcium fortified orange juice. I try to get to the gym on a regular basis, and I do a, an awful lot of running on an elliptical and a lot of weight training to help increase that. Exercise is so crucial for young women diagnosed with breast cancer, and it goes so far beyond just the issue we're talking about right now of bone health, but it's also tremendous for bone health. And so that should be something that she's doing daily um, for herself for both her, uh, her, um, her well-being and also keeping her bones strong. I mean, I'm not an athlete or anything, but I work out three times a week. I take my vitamin D every single day and my calcium, and I eat healthier. If a woman is diagnosed with full-on osteoporosis at a young age, which thankfully is not that common, then absolutely there are prescription medications that we would want her to take. The major class of drugs that we use when we really need to get to a prescription are called bisphosphonates. I always take the opportunity of a woman dealing with breast cancer at a young age to see what we can improve about her overall health as well as make sure she stays well from the breast cancer point of view. And the things which protect bone health actually are the things which tend to protect health in general. I feel stronger. Um, I'm able to uh, play with my kids. Mentally, I just had to open my mind to making it a priority. Um, I just have to do it. There's no easy answer to how do you make it a priority. You just have to do it.